In this video, we are going to study normality in error term with QQ plot and Harkevera test in R. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into R Studio. So the first step within the video is we need to load the corresponding packages. Therefore, we're going to comment this as step one, which is packages. To load packages, we use library function and within it, the name of the package. So in this video, we'll be using AER for data. Then also with library function, we'll be using ggplot2 for qqplot. And last also with library function, we'll be using tseries for Harkevera test. To run these code lines, we go ahead, select them, and we can either click run or press control enter on the keyboard. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For data, we'll be using data function and within it, the name of the object, which is house prices. This house prices object is located within AER package. And to run this code line, as it is a single code line, what we do is at any part of it, we select it, and then we can either click run or directly press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. As we can see, this creates the house prices object within the global environment as a data frame. And if we click on the spreadsheet kind of icon, this opens the data for us. In this video, we're going to focus on the first three columns of data of price, lot size, and bedrooms. The reason for this is that we're going to fit a multiple linear regression in which price is a dependent or explained variable, which is being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. If you have any questions regarding this data, you can go into the help tab and search for the object name, which is house prices. Select it, and then you'll see the documentation below. So then we continue with step number three, which is the model. For this, we're going to create an object name MLR, which stands for multiple linear regression, therefore equals to LM function and within it the following parameters. Formula equals to, and we have price as a dependent or explained variable with this special character means explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms, comma, data equals to the house prices object we created above. So to run this code line, we directly press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. And as we can see, this creates the MLR object within the global environment. Then we continue with step number four, which is normality. And for this, before doing QQplot and Harkevera test, we're going to create an object named RES, which is the corresponding residuals from that regression, therefore equals to MLR object and with the dollar sign we get its residuals and again there's a single code line so we press Ctrl enter on the keyboard and this creates the RES object within the global environment. So for normality we begin with QQplot which stands for quantile to quantile plot and for this we'll be using ggplot function and within it we have the following parameters data equals to, and we need to convert that res object into a data frame, therefore data dot frame, and within parentheses res, comma, aes, which is aesthetics, within parentheses we have sample equals to res, and then we continue with plus, and at the following row we have stat underscore qq, we open parentheses and we have distribution equals to q norm, therefore normal distribution, plus, and we continue at the following row, stat underscore qq underscore line, distribution equals to q norm again, and comma, color equals to, and within quotations, red. And then we have plus, and at the following row we have labs for the labels, and within it we have title, equals to, and within quotations, normal q, q, plot, comma, x, which is the horizontal axis, with theoretical quantiles, comma, and at the following row we have y, which is the vertical axis, sample quantiles. 
So to run these code lines, we go ahead, select them, and then we can either click run or press Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. So with this, within the plots area, we can see the QQ plot. So let's go ahead and zoom into it. So first we have the title, which is a normal QQ plot. On the vertical axis, we have sample quantiles. On the horizontal axis, we have theoretical quantiles and the corresponding relationships, which are the black colored points. And on top of them, we have as an overlay colored in red, the quantiles regression line fit from probability 25% to probability 75%. And here with QQ plot, we have a visual test to whether points are within quantiles regression line fit. If points are outside quantiles regression line fit, linear regression errors are assumed non-normal. On the other hand, if points are within quantile regression line fit, linear regression errors are assumed normal. So we close the chart here and then we continue with Harke Vera test. So we comment this Harke Vera test. And for this, we'll be using Harke dot Vera dot test function. And within parentheses, we have the parameter X equals to res object with the corresponding residuals. So this Harke Vera test function is going to do a chi-square test with the joint null hypothesis that residual skewness and excess kurtosis are equal to zero. If you want to read the full documentation of Harke Vera test function, you can go into the help tab and search for its name, or directly within the console, you can input question mark Harke dot Vera dot test and with it without parentheses and press enter on the keyboard and then you'll see the documentation right here within the help tab. So let's go ahead and run the code line by pressing Ctrl Enter on the keyboard. And we see right here within the console, the results being printed for Harke Vera test. So we have data, which are the residuals from the multiple linear regression. Then we have the chi-square statistic, number of degrees of freedom, and the p-value. This p-value is a chi-square test with the joint null hypothesis that residual skewness and excess kurtosis are equal to zero. If rejected, linear regression errors are assumed non-normal. If not rejected, linear regression errors are assumed normal. Okay, so with this, we finish with the code file, so we go ahead and save it. And with this, we also finish with this video. Thank you for watching.